Hello everyone, it's Nivin, and today I am making CopperCube 6 tutorial video. CopperCube 6 is a game engine which is available for free. Link is in the description. You can download it and follow along. Today I will be talking about importing and exporting. Specifically, I will be going over all the things that you can import in CopperCube 6 and what are the ways you can export things. First of all, let's start with the import. I have to mention this at the start of every tutorial. I say that we have five main windows. We have Scene Graphics Explorer, where we have all our objects. We have Properties, we have Prefabs, we have Textures, and we have the main window. Now, how to import things in CopperCube? It's simple. You go to File, you go down to import and basically you have four different choices you can import a copper cube scene a copper cube scene is a single scene which you can make in copper cube and save it as a file for example let's take this put some animated man some animated clerk put some armchair and create some terrain as we know and here we have a scene now if we go to scenes and we go to settings we can name the scene import scene and click ok now if we go to file and if we go to save we should click on not save but save as and it saves this scene as a copper cube scene which we can then go to file and import copper cube scene and we will be able to find the copper cube scene in the file where we saved the scene now I have to mention this I'm very experienced with this problem so just to mention in case you make a scene which you want to duplicate you cannot duplicate scenes in CopperCube 6. You cannot take this scene, right? And for example, I want to add a new scene, correct? I add a new scene, let's say scene 2, press OK, and I cannot copy all the things from import scene to scene 2. What I have to do is I have to save this scene and then when I go to scene 2, I can go to file, import and copper cube scene. That's very important to remember. Please, if you did not get what I was saying, you can mention this in the comment section or just rewind the video and slowly go over what I've just said. That's very important. Now, let's delete scene and let's add a new scene just a general scene and let's delete import scene I have showed how to do those things in my tutorial video so some of you who don't know you can go and watch my tutorial video about scenes now let's go to file and import then we have a static 3d mesh from file now we can import any file which has which is basically a 3D mesh. For example, it's uh, object files, it's uh, FBX files. Uh, also, we can import uh, DAE files, and rarely we can import Blender files. Now, if we go to, once again, we have another shortcut. We go to create, and, um, excuse me, we go to create and then we go to import a static mesh. We can import a static mesh which we can find uh, in the file where we saved it or we can import a animated mesh. Now you have to know the difference between those two just in case if you have an animated mesh you cannot import it with a static mesh import. You should import it with animated mesh and if you go to file go to import static 3d mesh always remember static means mesh which has no animation. Now let's go to the third one, which is animated 3D mesh. Also, it's very important to correctly specify for 
engine, what type of mesh do you have? You have animated mesh, you have static mesh. This is very important. And finally, we go to import and we have terrain height map. Now, what's a terrain height map? Some people might ask. Uh, terrain height maps are kind of picture maps which are mostly black and white uh, which creates uh, the illusion of a surface a surface of for example a mountain a surface of for example desert a beach um, a city so basically if you want to import terrain height map you should first of all have terrain height map downloaded on your device now there are some options which I will be giving links to in the description where you can go and download height maps this is first site it's uh, called height mapper and you can basically go anywhere around the world and have real life uh, maps from different regions and you can specify uh, for example the uh, elevation of uh, uh, the map you can specify uh, the rendering system the um, uh, map lines labels and everything personally I haven't used this but just in case if you wonder how and where to find um, height maps you can find them on this page and this is second option it's called 3d map generator you can design your own height maps and they have different tools uh, brushes uh, and yeah basically this is what height map looks like so you can import height map like this uh, you can generate uh, different uh, objects like castle you can generate uh, mountains uh, you can generate um, it's weird that I said mountains I I was supposed to say mountains yeah uh, and you can also have the grayscale height map which I showed you with the first option of course this option is not free it uh, is paid version although you can go and uh, build your own uh, 3d map online but you have to register for that and that's it for import of course I'm not counting uh, the import options which are to import prefabs for example you know how to import prefabs you click twice and you have a prefab uh, textures you can import textures just click on add also you can import other things like uh, room terrain camera plane uh, point light directional light tree water surface uh, billboards which I haven't gotten uh, over yet uh, particle system which I've discussed in tutorials uh, skybox to uh, 3d sound and things like that those don't count I talked only about the basics of things you can import in copper cube 6 which is as I said copper cube scene 3d mesh animated 3d mesh and terrain height map now let's delete this arcane house and now let's talk about exporting which is actually very important for some people now basically if we go to file and export we have all those different versions now we have basically save selections we have save selection as uh, IRR um, mesh which is basically the mesh only can be opened by copper cube 6 we have a selection of uh, colada I say it weirdly but that's it we have selection as mesh STL we have selection as OBG we can save file as copper cube prefab and we can export the current scene as IRR scene now all of, the, all of those things uh, correspond to different um, options you can use for example I have this object and uh, I modify this object in a way that I want uh, let's take another object and let's have a man right so I will give this man let's go to properties materials and I give this man one single texture 
Now let's go to textures and select this texture. It says there are more than one texture in this item. Are you sure you want to replace all textures in this node with this texture? Yes. Now, as you can see, I've changed this and created a very creepy guy, animated mesh. Now, I want this to be used in my other games. So how do I save it? We use export. Now, if we go to file and export, we can export this as OBG, but it won't be enough because OBG does not support animated meshes. I, I remember that correctly, if I do remember that correctly. Uh, instead of uh, taking this and exporting as OBG mesh, you should save current file as CopperCube prefab. And then you click on that and it saves this guy, which I've changed uh, into a very creepy looking uh, one shaded uh, walking uh, object. It will save it as prefab. And I gave this simple example just to explain that you can export things depending on what you want to use those those things. You maybe want to use this in another engine, for example, Unity. Then you should not export this with CopperCube Prefab or IRR Scene, or even uh, export this as uh, IRR uh, Mesh. You should definitely use Collada, STL, or Object. Now, all this matters because it depends on your personal preference once again, but all this matters because we as game developers should be concerned about making things as they are supposed to be. Uh, we shouldn't experiment. I, I'm not saying that we shouldn't experiment just in general with design, but some of the things might cause problems, especially during importing and exporting uh, meshes and objects. That's why you have to be very careful uh, when you are selecting how to export. The, basically, all those export uh, selections are the same. Now, import is different because uh, you you cannot import a copper cube scene as a terrain height map, right? You cannot import static 3D mesh as animated 3D mesh. It won't work. But exporting works all the same, although it depends on what do you want to use it for. You can use it for other game engines than export as Collada, STL, or OBG. If you want to use it primarily for Copper Cube, you export as Copper Cube Prefab, or IRR Scene, or IRR Mesh. And let's delete this creepy man because it's creeping me out, and it's creeping you out too. Um, and here we are, selection, yeah, there it is, delete. That was it for today's tutorial. Thanks everyone for watching. I truly appreciate everyone's support. And um, at the end of every tutorial, I say this, that everything depends on your personal preference. Maybe you like CopperCube 6, maybe you don't. It's up to you how you can use this engine. It's free once again, and it does amazing things. Only thing you need is dedication, hard work, and brainstorming. What do you want to develop? How do you want to make it? And just everything will go fine. Once again, thanks everyone for watching and have an amazing day.